Here we have a 2010 Volkswagen Schrocco GT TDI 170 in blue. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth, loads of tread there, easily a good 6 to 7 millimetres. Looking at the offside front alloy, as you can see, I've got a bit of curbing around the alloy there. Also, some lack of peel to the paintwork. Again, some lack of peel on the bottom there, and again, a bit of curbing to the alloy. So, definitely going to require a refurb. Then, again, some lack of peel and curbing, and it's the same around the majority of the alloy. Taking a look down the offside of the bodywork, there is one or two few small dinks, but no signs of any dents at all to the bodywork. Looking around the offside front tire, it's just one or two light scratches will require polish. A couple of light little scratches there on the driver's mirror. Driver's door itself again looks very clean indeed. Again, one or two light little scratches to the paintwork will require a polish. Apart from that, I can't spot anything else. Apart from a couple of chips in the door edge, that will require some touchings. Looking on the top of the roof, doesn't appear to have any dinks or any dents at all there. As you can see, up privacy glass there on the rear windows. And looking at the rear arch, again, a couple of light little scratches on the paintwork here will require polish. Again, some light scratches just behind the rear arch there as well. The rear tyre, we're looking at a good 5 to 6 mil. And the offside rear alloy, again, as you can see, we've got some um, peel there on the paint. And going on the inside of the spoke there. Again on the outside, so just lack of peel to this alloy here, no signs of any curbing, etc. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle, it's a lovely blue colour. And looking at the rear bumper, no signs of any serious damage at all, all looks in very good order. A couple of light scratches on the back, that's all it consists of there. Taking a look inside the boot, of course you do have to open it with the key. There we go. As you can see, you've got your parcel shelf there, lovely clean condition. And you've got your spare wheel and locking wheel in the back there. So that's all in good order. Near side rear tyre. Again, we're looking at the back here. We're looking at around 4 to 5 mil of tread. Looking at the near side rear alloy. Again, we've got some curbing there. And also some lack of peel to the alloy. So again, a potential refurb. Looking down the near side of the vehicle. Again, just one or two small dinks down the bodywork. But no signs of any dents at all. Again, some light scratches will require polish. A couple of chips in your door edge there, but it does look very well for its age. A couple of stone chips on the mirror, front quarters lovely and clean, and a good 5mm there on the front tyre. Near side front alloy again will require refurb as you've got some curbing and some lack of peel to this alloy as well. We run to front, as you can see, we've got a heavy scuff mark there on the near side front quarter. That's going to require some smart repair there. Also, some light little scuff marks. As you can see, moving around to the front quarter here. So again, that's going to require some smart repair to the near side front. A couple of stone chips on the front bumper. Again, one or two light scratches. Nothing too serious. Again, some stone chips there. And then as you can see on the bonnet of the vehicle, we have got a few patches of lacquer peel on the front bumper here. As you can see, just some small patches here and there. So it's going to require some work as well. Take a look at the interior. As you can see, you get the nice cloth GT seats, nice condition, very slight bit of wearing on the bolster. Again, nothing you can do about it, it's age related. Again, front back passenger seats also in a lovely condition. Taking a look at the two back seats, as you can see, they are very clean and tidy, no signs of any damage at all there. Again, dashboard, etc., is in a lovely condition, nice flat bottom GC steering wheel there. Stepping inside the vehicle itself, now we have got two sets of keys with the vehicle as you can see just there so two keys with the car and as we can see on the dash if we just start up the vehicle no issues at all starting the car there does start first time mileage wise we're looking at 70,738 on the clock with no symbols appearing on the dash there multifunction steering wheel with paddle shift there touch screen radio again works perfectly fine one direction. And sounds great. No issues with the blowers. Air conditioning comes out nice and cold as well. And we've got heated seats there as well. DSG box, taking a look at the documents. V5, the car's had two owners. It does come with an MOT, April 19th, 2016. So a good year's MOT there, which is spot on. And service history, as you can see there, you've got a Volkswagen stamp at 9. Volkswagen stamp at 23. 45, I'm assuming that's come off that page. 
and again Volkswagen stamp there at 53 so it is lacking the service as we're currently on 70 but it is full Volkswagen service history which is all good 2010 Volkswagen Truck GT TDI 170 and it's a nice looking car for the age of the vehicle